Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here live on the floor of DevOps UK talking to members of the Java community. I have David Dalabase with me. Hey, David. Hi. How Hi. are you doing? Good, good, thank you. So you're a Java EE evangelist, That's yes, correct. among yeah. other things. So tell me about the sessions or buffs you're doing here. And today we are running two buffs. So there is a Java EE buff uh, run with uh, other colleagues from the Java community where we b basically talk about Java EE. Uh, and given the, what we have done recently, I suspect that we'll spend most of the time on Java EE 8 because we have already started to um, give indication on what we, will, wha what we are planning to do for Java EE 8. So I assume that uh, the community will be highly interested by that. So I guess that will be... Absolutely, um, and I saw you did a survey to get information, right? Yeah, that's correct. So a few months ago, uh, we have done a community survey. So basically we have asked the community uh, what they would like us to focus on for Java EA. Because the issue is that uh, we have a lot of ID for Java EA. But if we want to include all those ID in Java EA, we won't have something before the next uh, X year. So obviously that's uh, far too long. So basically we have asked the community what we should focus on. So that gives us a good idea, good indication on what uh, should really be uh, the highlight and what should be the theme of Java E8. Um, now, given that, uh, th that information obviously is uh, data that will be used uh, through the expert group that is working on Java, that will be formed to work on Java E8. That's excellent. So tell me, give me a sneak peek, give me a couple of the things. So, uh, for example, um, following the latest evolution for, uh, around the web standards uh, is something which is key. So uh, in Java E7, uh, we have introduced uh, WebSocket support, JSONP, um, and so on. So those technologies are key when it comes to HTML5 applications. But obviously, uh, we need to do more around that. So for example, uh, for JSON, uh, it seems that uh, having support for JSON binding is a no-brainer. That's something that we, we should do uh, for Java E8. So that's one thing. Now, something else that is also um, asked is SSE, server sent event. That's also some, a technology that is very important uh, for HTML5 applications. So uh, that's something we will probably work uh, for Java 8. So um, you're also talking about Glassfish a little bit while you're here? Yeah. So, uh, but first I should mention something. Uh, today is a kind of special day because uh, just one year ago uh, we have launched Java 7. So today is the first anniversary yeah. of oh, Java congratulations. 7. Thank you. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, community. <laughs> so uh, Glassfish 4, uh, the Java E7 reference implementation, has been launched uh, one year ago. And um, we are continuing to work on improving Glassfish. So uh, a few weeks ago, we have announced the plan for the next release of Glassfish, so Glassfish uh, 401, that should be released uh, within the coming months. So uh, what will be the focus of that release? Um, for example, supporting Java IC8, which has been launched a few months ago, is something which is key for the next release of Glassfish 4. Um, fixing the some, some of the bugs we have is also something we are working on. And also uh, including all the, the, the updates of the components that compose Glassfish, such as Tyrus, for example, for WebSocket support, or Jersey for uh, uh, REST services support and so on. So uh, adding all of those uh, in Glassfish 401 is what we are uh, right now busy and working on. So Glassfish is definitely a community effort, right? It is, yes. A and you're looking for people to get involved? Yeah, that's correct. So um, Glassfish is developed in open source and we are very keen to get contribution uh, from the open source community. So uh, tonight, after the Java e buff, we are running uh, above specifically uh, on Glassfish. So basically we would like to talk with the community around Glassfish, so the plan for Glassfish 401, but also we would like to discuss how the community can get uh, involved in Glassfish. Because right now we are talking about Glassfish 4, because uh, the specification of the day is uh, Java E7, but obviously as Java E uh, will get more concrete, um, Jav uh, Glassfish will remain the the reference implementation. So uh, we will have also to work on that. So Glassfish 5 uh, is something that is maybe not too far away. So uh, we need to start to think about Glassfish 5 as well. Wow, they just the future just keeps rolling, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yep. So you can go to glassfish.org to grab Glassfish and learn information. Yep. Yes, yep. excellent. Well, thank you, David, for dropping by. I really appreciate your time, and it's good to see you. Thanks. Thank you. This is Tori Wheel from the Oracle Technology Network.